Welcome back to ModiMate's guided click-by-click -click tutorials. This one's about the massing graph. In this tutorial, we'll be designing the massing graph of a guest house behind this contemporary home. Let's navigate the scene. Right-click to orbit, middle-click to pan, and scroll to zoom. Let's navigate to the backyard and take a look at this guest house. To draw its massing graph, we'll use the massing graph tool, which can be accessed by typing MG on the keyboard or by clicking the first button in the objects toolbar. We'll be using the first drawing mode, which can be accessed by pressing Control-1 or clicking the first drawing mode in the list. You can cycle through drawing modes with Control-1, Control-2, Control-3, but we'll be using the first drawing mode. Click on the open edge of these interior lines, find the red world axis affordance, hold Shift, and snap to the exterior of the floor plan. Do the same for the opposite loose edge, and you have now just separated the closet and bathroom from the main bedroom space. This is a very simple guest house, but it'll get the job done. Next, let's draw the exterior wall planes. We'll once again enter the massing graph tool. This time, we'll use the vertical rectangle tool and set a height of 8 feet. Click in the corner of the floor plan, then at the opposite corner, then trace each vertex of the perimeter. You can orbit in mid click if you need. Next, let's draw the interior wall planes. Snap to the vertices that demarcate the two interior rooms, press escape to finish chaining your rectangles, and with eight clicks you have finished partitioning two spaces. Make sure to separate the pilasters at the south end with their own interior planes as well. Next, let's draw the door planes. For this we will use the segment drawing tool, which can be accessed with Control 1 or by clicking the line tool there. Click on the vertices representing the door's base. Mouse upward to find the blue axial affordance and type 6 foot 8 enter. Hold shift along the green axial affordance, find the opposite vertex, click and click and you have carved the front door. Do the same for the closet and bathroom. You can either type 6 foot 8 or 80 inches or hold shift and snap to the top of the front door to create a vertical edge that matches its height. Now find the green axial affordance, hold shift and hover over the opposite base vertex, click and click and we'll do the same for the final door. Hold shift, snap to the same height as the opposite door. Hold shift, snap to the opposite corner of this door and click at the base. You have now separated three door planes from the walls to which they're attached. Next, we'll draw the west windows of this guest house. Once again, typing MG to enter the massing graph and control one to use the edge tool. We will snap to the base of this door, move our cursor along the vertical axis, type 32 inches, and then find the green axis and type 6 feet, press enter, find the blue axis, hold shift, snap to the top, and click back to the origin, and then subdivide this plane in its midpoints. We've now created two windows both 3 feet wide to match the door, with a sill height of 32 inches. Next we'll draw the south windows. Click the midpoint of the south wall's base between the pilasters, find the blue axial affordance, type 1 foot, and press enter. Then travel along the red affordance, type 3 feet and press enter. Travel vertically along the wall and either type 5 foot 8 or 68 inches, or hold shift and snap to the head of the doors and windows on the west wall. Now find the red axial affordance and type 6 feet, enter. Find the blue axial affordance, hold shift and snap to the sill of this window. And we can subdivide it into two windows each 3 feet wide. We now have two windows on the south facade. However, we've also added an edge that was used to set out these windows from the wall base. This whole curb is a single assembly. We don't need this edge. We will click on it and delete it. There's also a leftover vertex, but this sill condition is identical across its whole length. There need not be two edges. So we use the join tool by pressing J-O or clicking the join tool, clicking on one edge, then clicking on the other. This joins the two edges into one. Next, let's add a roof to all these rooms. Once again, MG for Metagraph tool. Control 1 for edge tool, and now draw edges at the tops of walls that would bound the planar loops of the tops of the rooms. As you do, planes are created that become the ceilings for these spaces, ceilings for the plasters as well. Now let's add eaves that travel outside the building. Click at the top northwest corner of the guest house, find the red linear snap affordance, type 2 feet, and press enter. Find the green linear snap affordance, hold shift, find the south end of the plasters, and click. Along the same affordance, type 1 foot and press enter. Find the red linear snap affordance, hold shift, mouse over the southeast corner, and click. Along the same affordance, type 2 feet and press enter. Find the green linear snap affordance, hold shift, and find the northeast corner of the guest house. Along the same affordance, type 2 feet and press enter. Along the red linear snap affordance, hold shift and find the point that you started from. 
close the loop, press escape to return to select mode, select the edge you used to set this whole eave system out, press delete. And now let's use the join tool to heal these extra vertices we used during the setting up process. JO for join, click one edge, click the next edge, the vertex is healed. Press escape to return to select and deselect the edge that you just joined. JO, click, click, escape. JO, click, click, escape. JO, click, click, escape. Now we have one edge for every eave edge. Very cool, this massing graph looks about done. But what if we wanted to make some changes to it? For the first change, let's raise the sill of the bedroom windows so it's above the height of a dresser. Enter select mode by pressing escape or clicking the select button. Select one of the two windowsill edges, hold shift, and add the other sill to your selection. Use the move tool by typing MV or clicking the move tool. Start a move vector on the edge itself, and then find the blue linear snap affordance, hold shift, and snap to the windows on the west wall. Click and release, and you have changed your windows to match the west windows. For change number two, let's extend the south eaves so they shade the bedroom better. Click the eaves south edge, click one of its dark dimension strings, and type 24 feet enter. We have now lengthened the south eaves by 18 inches. For change number three, let's raise the ceiling height to match the main house, which is 9 feet. Turn your camera so that it looks flat along the roof of this pool house. Then click and drag a rectangle that bounds all the planes of the roof. You've now selected all the planes, edges, and vertices comprising your roof. Type MV to start the move tool or click the move tool on the top toolbar. Click anywhere in the scene. Move your mouse along the blue linear snap affordance. Type one foot and press enter. You can now see the guest house is nine feet tall, but it's so small that it probably doesn't deserve that ceiling height. So you can undo your action by pressing control Z. Control Y to redo, control Z to undo. This completes the massing graph for your guest house. Next, let's create the separators we will host onto it.